Etepo Cooing of Etepo Cooing's place to be reviews right here with all of you's the people's champion. And if you didn't catch Rogue Entertainment last night, ladies and gents, this was given to me, hand delivered by super fan Adam Shawhan. I thank you, my brother. I uh, he brought this up to me. This is uh, like I said, this is uh, Etepo Cooing's place to be reviews, the people's champion, right here today. Great video. We're gonna talk about. Old Man River, Her remember Harrison Ford being like an awesome action star? Remember when he was solo? I'm solo, I'm on solo. You remember that? Pepperidge Farm remembers. Not so nimble, not so quick anymore. Harrison injured on the set of Indiana Jones 5. We're going to talk about it. Monkeys, roll the footage. Yeah, that, that oh, works. I like All right, okay. All right <laughs> moving, moving on. Hey, what about Tulip? Harrison Ford injured on the set of Indiana Jones 5. This from John F. Trent today, bounding into comics. And I can't say that I am very surprised that a near octogenarian who was injured, I believe it was during The Force Awakens, has an injury on the set of an action movie. When I mean, God love Harrison Ford. I do. I love Han Solo. I love Indiana Jones. Uh, the Fugitive was a great movie. You know, there, there's so many movies that Harrison Ford was in that were just awesome. Uh, but, you know, even the one with the little Amish kid. Okay, now to be fair. Uh, to be fair. 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 Witness. Are you fucking high? But anyway, I digress. The fact that he got injured on the set of this movie, what did you think was going to happen? What did you think was going to happen with an 80-year-old action star? Like, I don't understand. This this role doesn't need to be recast. The character should just should just have been laid to rest after Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. The Kingdom of the Crystal Skull never should have happened. Refrigerators cannot withstand nuclear blasts. That's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. Let's get into this article. Actor Harrison Ford, 78, was injured on the set of Indiana Jones 5. The news initially came from Deadline's Mike Fleming Jr., who claimed Ford was injured rehearsing a fight scene. Oh, what the fuck ever? This is where we're at. Now, I'm sure the guys, the villains that Harrison Ford will be facing, I am, like I said, I'm six foot three, I'm 218 pounds. I'm pretty sure all the villains he'll be fighting and physically defeating are going to be probably my size or bigger. And you want to get nuts? Come on. Let's get nuts! <laughs> and that is laughable. He is a 78-year-old man. I mean, obviously, we've seen him in public, you know, outside of his roles. He's 78 years old, you know. Um, no matter how coherent he is, the body at 78 cannot do certain things or should not do certain things anymore unless you're like a genetic freak like Jackie Chan. Which he's not that old, but for his age, the things he does are still insane. Uh, it's unclear how serious the injury is, but Fleming Jr. did claim that it involved his shoulder. Oh yeah, the shoulder, because a rotator cuff, having a minor torn rotator cuff uh, years and years ago from working out is... You know, you're you're not going to be able to do much if you can't have you know a full range of motion in your shoulder. So this is, you know, depending on the severity, uh, this could shut the whole thing down. <laughs> really, if you think about it, you know, uh, either that or we'd have really wonky CG or body doubles and things of the like with like probably a deep fake face. How about new? While the seriousness of the injury is unknown, it will apparently force director James Mangold to shoot around Ford as he seeks treatment. Yeah, because it's really easy to shoot around the titular character of your movie. Of course, now they'll probably make Phoebe Waller-Bridge a focus or something. I don't know. This doesn't bode well. Fleming Jr.'s initial report was confirmed by Disney, who released a brief statement. Who's the asshole? They noted, in the course of rehearsing for a fight scene, Harrison Ford sustained a serious injury involving his shoulder. You have done that yourself. Production will continue while the appropriate course of treatment is evaluated and the filming schedule will be reconfigured as needed in the upcoming weeks. 
Okay, this picture of Harrison Ford looking like all cut with like good muscle. That was from the Temple of Doom. That was from 1984. Ooh, he's trying. We're, we're talking, what, uh, 35 years ago? Wow, uh, this there's a lot to unpack here. You know, the, the course of treatment is he's 78 years old. He should be doing fight scenes. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying that a 78-year-old in sound mind and body isn't coherent enough and cognizant enough to make the decision if they want to participate, if they're still an actor in this kind of thing. But what I am saying is for the course of treatment to be evaluated and reconfigured the filming schedule over the next couple weeks, I mean, let's be honest, like I said, He's 78. He injures that shoulder. It might be lights out for his career. You know, who's to say that he does recover from that fully enough to perform the even the minimal uh, duties with him needed to be in this role, like I said, without using a body double and a deep fake. And, I mean, that's why this movie was a terrible idea from the word go. Boo this man! No! You know what they should have done? What they should have done was either have... Uh, short round takeovers, Indiana Jones. There, there's built, there's a built-in diverse character who's been part of the the mythos since the very, you know, since the beginning. You could do that. Uh, you could, you know, have another young archaeologist, you know, played by you know some ruggedly, you know, handsome actor who fits the mold of you know kind of the the archetype for Indiana Jones. If you want to, if you want to do it properly and not have some you know bullshit forced you know ham-fisted garbage tier uh you know inclusion and diversity trainer you know come in and be like well this is what we need let's check some boxes and no it's not going to work that way you know I, I honestly like chris pratt not even to play indiana jones but to play a character who kind of takes them you know takes over in that you know the role not of Indiana Jones, but a new character, you know, the Indy kind of passes the mantle to of, you know, being this adventurous archaeologist, you know, who globe trots and, you know, hunts down things and has these insane adventures. That would be dope. That would be awesome to do that. Uh, but like I said, they would be like, we need a transgender, you know, uh, Asian, Polynesian, black, Latin X, you know, then they would just throw everything in there to where it's like they literally have to manufacture somebody in a lab and wait another 30 or 20 years to make this movie <laughs> or just make a robot, you know, whatever. But this is this is laughable at best. Uh, sorry for that tirade. This isn't the first time Ford has been injured on the set of a Disney production, as we were, I talked about briefly earlier, I alluded to. Ford was previously injured when he was knocked down on the ground and pinned down by a hydraulic door on the set of the Millennium Falcon at London's Pinewood Studios while filming Star Wars The Force Awakens back in 2014. The actor was eventually airlifted to a hospital in Oxford. Ford described the incident to talk show host Jonathan Ross. He stated, I was just standing in the doorway talking to J.J. Abrams, our director. The camera hadn't been set up, but I was wearing my costume ready to go to work. Because we had a big budget this time, the original film, the door. If there had been a door, it would have been closed with a pulley and a stagehand doing it. But now we have lots of money and technology, so they built a fucking great hydraulic door, which closed at light speed. And somebody said, oh, I wonder what this is. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. And the door came down and hit me on my left hip because I was turned to my right. And it flung my leg up and dislocated my ankle as it drove me down to the floor. My leg slapped on the ramp up to the Millennium Falcon and broke both bones in my left leg. Oh my God! <laughs> He's like 70 or 71. The Guardian reported in 2016 the incident sh could have killed Ford. Andrew Marshall, a prosecutor, explained it could have killed somebody. The fact that it didn't because an emergency stop was activated. Indiana Jones 5 is in the middle of production at Pinewood Studios in London and other locations throughout the UK. Ford stars in the film alongside Mads Mikkelsen, uh, the LL337 piece of shit, Phoebe Waller-Bridge, Boyd Holbrook, Seanette Renee Wilson, and Thomas Kretschmann. It's expected to arrive in theaters around July 29th, 2022. Well, not if this, you know, has anything to do with it. Uh, I just, I don't see this ending well, but... Let me give you my final thoughts. All right, final thoughts on this. I don't think it's a good idea. 
I don't see this movie ending well. I don't see it doing well at the box office, being received well, other than for nostalgic purposes, which admittedly have me interested in it just because i'm such a fan of indiana jones you know the movies uh the fourth one can go off for all i care um you know but the first three were great they were fun um i've seen them so many times you know obviously a huge star wars fan so i love harrison ford and star wars i've seen pretty much most of his movies throughout the years uh you know like i said down to the obscure so i'm a fan of his work but i don't like to see people you know be used as a dog and pony show and it's 78 years old i think that's what's happening to harrison ford here uh, he's physically not able to do this stuff so why are they trotting him out and trying to do this oh yeah it's a cash grab by disney so with that being said guys i'm gonna end it i got stuff to do be sure to come back tonight 8 30 eastern join myself tony tone Depp, nick utam from world-class bullshitters uh, adam shawhan will be joining us plus probably another guest i'm etepo queen of the place to be reviews if i've earned your subscription please folks press that red button today help the people's champion help the people's champion ladies and gents build build this brand up and, and make it great so we can entertain more people with the content the live streams the videos so like i said please if i've earned it hit the subscribe button smack that like button for me and just just be cool that's all baby just be cool i'm etep queen of the place to be reviews i've been here with all these remember if i don't see you have a great day a pleasant tomorrow i'll catch you on the next one and it's better to burn out than fade away <laughs>